If you're a content creator, then finding trending topics is really, really crucial for helping you grow your online presence. And today I'm taking a look at Buzzabout, which aims to help you do just that. You can see a very simple interface to start with. You can pick from Reddit, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, X, and LinkedIn. And we just need to search for a, a topic or paste a URL. Now, as I'm talking about lifetime SaaS deals, let's search for that. This platform has been provided to me by Early Bird. I'll put a link down below. This is part of their Black Friday sale. So go and click that affiliate link to check out the full details. So what do we have here? So we've got, let's clarify your focus for deeper insights. Are you interested in discovering current offers, learning how users evaluate or regret deals or track broader trends? So Reddit's a great platform. Now I've, I've picked Reddit there. Maybe I should have picked YouTube since I'm a YouTuber. Can we go back? No, we can't go back. Well, that's fine. Let's go with, let's go with Reddit. Three months. I will pick English since I can't speak anything else. So post preview for query. Okay, so I'm happy with all that. Let's just hit start research, see what happens. This may take up to five minutes. So I wonder if I can start another bit of research. So let's go to YouTube this time. So this time it's, are we looking for current deals? Are we looking for user reviews? So it looks like you can do some refining SaaS and lifetime deals rather than SaaS lifetime deals. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Let's see what happens. Hit start research. Now you can see we've got down a side here we've got the recent and it's working through them but let's take a look at some of these examples so we can see what we're getting so this is a search for te tesla and elon musk and this is on instagram so we're getting total engagements engagement rates total views potential reach mentions activity over time emotional breakdown so currently neutral 15 percent angry joy sad surprise disgust and the content breakdown, we've got informational, promotional, emotional, persuasive. And we can check with the data now. Let's just scroll down a little bit before we do that. So topics. So this is really good. If you were, I mean, this is an Instagram one. So this is super helpful to give you an idea of the sorts of content in terms of the pictures, the layout, the quotes, you know, what's doing well. So here we've got some different topics, social and public image. So now we can chat with the data. Let's just say pain point mining. Oh, okay. So it's not available for <laughs> example reports. I need to create a new report. So, okay, let's go and see where we're at. So here we go. This is mine. This is my report that's just been processed. So it's given me an overview of lifetime deals, the topic, total engagements, engagement rates, this is interesting stuff, spikes going on. So remember, this is Reddit we're looking at. Neutral, joy, anger, and we've got another report to look at for YouTube. So we can have a look at the pain point data mining. Let's see what that brings up. Sentiment graph over time. So neutral, then it goes down a bit, then it goes up a bit. <laughs> so it's now using this data combined with AI to give you insights into what the data actually means. So you can actually talk to your data. That's that's really cool. So it's just it's just finished. The pain points mining, that's all that was given to this. And it's come up with almost a little report, actually, in terms of the pain points, limited hangover, subscription fatigue, payment access failure and subscription management, declining product quality, post limited. I, I've seen a lot of talk on this one recently on other platforms. So, yeah, that makes sense. And let's hop over to the YouTube version. So the overview this time is a little bit different. I'm quite curious about the sentiment. The sentiment is largely positive over time, whereas the other one was a lot more variable. Breakdown joy, neutral surprise, informational. Now this is interesting. So I'm, I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm assuming it can do a deeper dive on Reddit because it's got a lot more text to work with. Whereas here, Presumably this isn't grabbing transcriptions and perhaps it's just basing it off the YouTube descriptions. Don't say my word for that. I'm having a guess, but we've still got the topics. <laughs> Where's all my videos? <laughs> oh, he does good videos, him. I can see why he's, he's being pulled up a lot. Yeah, okay. So we're getting some really good information here as to what is performing so i could go check these out and maybe do my own version of 
the video. So that's how you use it as a YouTuber. So I'm just going to try my own little prompt. I've no idea if this will work. I'm going to ask what are the most popular tools people want to know about. So in theory, it should look at the data and be able to tell me, and it's doing so. So AI content platforms, such as Galaxy AI, social media marketing tool, uh, such as BizReply, lead gen, surveys and feedback, all in one business suite. Pop Hop is a good one. Productivity enhancements. These trends show people like lifetime deals. Very interesting stuff. We can now download this as a PDF. So here's the report I just downloaded. Nice looking cover. It's downloaded as a PDF. I'm just opening it online so you can see it. So we've got a little overview. And as we scroll through, we've got the metrics, we've got the graphs. I like that it's keeping all this down the side. Visually interesting. And it's just got the stats that we've been taking a look at with a little bit of commentary. So this would be great for you to talk about with your team. Great for you to take away and do some offline work while you're doing some research. Or maybe even provide this to a client if you're working with them on creating content. You can give them an overview of what's happening in a certain marketplace. So I'm back in the Reddit report because I found the YouTube report didn't do this. There's actually three sections. There's the overview. There's mentions, which this will show different things depending on the, the platform. And it's the audience report I wanted to show you, but I couldn't do that on YouTube. YouTube isn't supported, but on Reddit, it's pulled together all this audience information. So we've got the gender split, we've got the location, and then we've got these personas. So if you don't know about personas, they're kind of like a made up person and their traits. And it's a marketing tool to understand who it is you might be trying to sell to. So down here, we've got these four personas it's identified and I can click into them, learn more information. So we've got the personality and approach, demographics, there's all sorts of good stuff here. And then do you notice on this side, the AI chat window has changed to allow you to talk to the persona. So I can ask, what are your goals? What motivates you? What are your needs? What frustrates you? And it will now use the information it's gathered about this persona and hopefully give me an answer so that I can understand the audience a lot better. So here's the answer to what frustrates you. So I could go through that and understand. And it's also suggesting some follow-up questions. It's a very cool little platform. And I can switch between the different personas to find out you know, other bits and pieces, what's going on. There's also this little button down here, which I've been using my own prompts or just clicking on a prompt but there are a number of others they call them skills custom skills but essentially it's just an ai prompt so you've got market research prompt content and positioning and audience research so it's a very well thought out research platform that allows you to get an initial set of data and then dig deeper dig deeper so you can really understand the the audience for whatever it is you've done a search on you're not just restricted to topics you can also enter accounts so for example this is an instagram account and it's pulled information about that instagram account so rather than now looking at a topic in the round i'm focused on a single instagram account to see their engagement rates views the sentiment is positive we can look at the content breakdown the emotional joy all that kind of stuff and then we can have a look what's the resonance like you know for the posts well this one's high they said quite a few views what are we looking at so it's to do with seasonal things. So Christmas jumpers, the ghosts from Halloween, that kind of stuff. So we can, again, we can flick through different elements. We can look at the mentions and I've got an audience generation ring so that we can understand the audience for that account. So my first impressions, what I really like about this is they've taken the Google approach of just having a very simple search bar, as it were, and then you simply select what you're interested in, paste it in, and after a little while, you'll get your reports. It's, it looks like a great tool to do some data mining and figure out the content in your next video, your next blog post, your next tweet, whatever area it is you're in. Obviously, I've only done a basic test. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried this out. And if you like the look of this, currently in the Early Bird Black Friday sale, affiliate link down below.